What's, What's up, up GTI? GTI? I'm Eric. I'm Jessica. The FIFA World Cup started last week. Let's kick it off with some swapping slang. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Don, and I am from California, this beautiful state on the west coast. Now California is very large, there's many different parts of it. I'm from central California, Fresno. That's where we grow a lot of fruits and vegetables. So I'm going to share some of my slang with you, and this can be difficult because we also have Los Angeles, we have Hollywood in California. That's where they make movies and TV shows, so I feel like a lot of our slang is well known. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that slang reached all the way across to West Virginia. We'll see. <laughs> stoked. This is like, you're super excited. You can't wait for something. Very I'm good. Stoked. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, I love this word. Yeah. So It's yeah. a good one. It's like yeah. when a fire is full of energy and it has uh -huh. a lot of coals and a lot of wood on the fire, you oh. say it's well stoked. What? Like it's gonna last a long time. No, you're right, I'm saying, but like the background oh, of where okay. it comes from. <laughs> well, we actually use it to say like, that yeah, I'm super excited. If I say, uh -huh. uh, I'm stoked for tonight's football game. Oh, it's gonna be a really exciting match. So that's where that came from? Though. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Cool. That's cool. I didn't know that. I know. Okay. Nailed it. Okay, second one. Bummer. This is kind of like an old word, right? Like, man, that's such a bummer. That's, um, it's a letdown, it's a shame. A disappointment. A disappointment. Mm -hmm. That's a better word. Yeah. There's usually like it's disappointing and it, it kind of it might hurt a little bit. Like ah, oh, makes you feel sad. Uh yeah. Like I wanted to go out tonight, but it's raining. Yeah. What a bummer. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think in California, since there's a lot of skateboarders, a lot of surfers, when you wipe out, sometimes the first thing you land on is your bum. Oh, is that where it comes from? And that's my guess. Oh. I, could be wrong. <laughs> I, I didn't know. know that. It could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three. A grip. Is this like get a grip? No. Like relax, get a grip? No, that's a different meaning for grip. Um, a grip, different. like, is it like a trip? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has to do with um, like the amount of objects. Oh. That you could have. Like a lot? Yeah. Like I've got a grip of shoes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So if you have like, oh, I have a grip of pens on my desk. You want to have one for free? Oh, really? Okay. So we, we have don't... a lot of it like it's a grip, like you could fit it inside your grip. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have that word. Uh, nice. <laughs> Yay, we got an actual California slang. <laughs> it didn't make it out to West Virginia. All right. All right. Maybe <laughs> that I know day. of. <laughs> Maybe one day. We'll see. Animal style? Um... <laughs> style. Okay. Um, is this like when you're really hungry and instead of getting a fork, you just eat it off your plate with your hands. Mm. Animal style. Mm, you're just like... Yeah, animal style. It has to do with food. Okay. But it's a certain kind of food. Tacos. Oh, good guess. It's actually hamburgers. Hamburgers. So one of our favorite restaurants in California is called In-N-Out Burger. Yeah. And we can order a burger animal style. Okay. That's where they fry the onions on the grill. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh. It's my favorite. Yeah, that sounds it's my really good. Favorite. So yeah, so if you order a hamburger animal style, it's with mm -hmm. fried onions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fail. Um, other than giving money <laughs> to get out of jail. <laughs> fail. Uh, is this like to cut a class? Like I'm gonna bail? Yeah. It's when you're Sorry. skipping out on something. It's when oh, you're nice. leaving or you don't come. Like, I'm gonna bail. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a bail. Like, oh. He bailed on us. We were hoping he would come to the game tonight. Oh, uh, nice. Bomb. Is this like you bombed a test? Like you did really bad on a test? Very poorly? We could say that in California, but it's not the main way we it's use that word. Um, is this another food? This has to do with food. I guess I might be hungry. Is it, ice, <laughs> is it like ice cream? Mm, like, you could say that ice cream is bomb. Oh, like it's really, really awesome. Yes. It's cool. It's very good. good. Very good. tasty. Yeah, bomb. So you could say, oh, those tacos were bomb. Or, right. Oh, this hamburger right. is bomb. It's when you're excited, you really like it. Okay, yeah, I've heard that. Okay. I just remembered it. That's it. That was my last one. All right, thanks. She I knows. A lot. She knows a lot. I feel like we can adopt her as yeah, a California. Yeah, we need to go to California now. Well, thanks. You know, Jessica, something doesn't feel quite right. What's that? 
Alright, before we get back into our soccer videos, let's take a look at SLI's new announcement. Let's go! Hello, Santa! Hello everyone else, my name is Ben and I'm a part of English Plaza team. Hi, I'm Yusuke. Hello, I'm Daiki. We are on, on the, the PA team. And we are hiring now. Also, we are hiring new PAs. As an English Plaza staff, we were, our work is to make E Plaza a welcoming place for every student to practice their English, have a fresh drink, borrow some laptops, and make new friends. On the PA gym, we do everyday life support for each work student and JSP student, including taking them to the bank, hospital, and city hall. To become an English Plaza staff, you have to be First, if you're a Japanese student in the Japanese program, you have to have a TOEIC of 500 and above. For everyone, your GPA needs to be 2.0 and above. You must be able to attend every mandatory training. And lastly, you need to be the first, second and third year first semester student. For PA, you also need Japanese language skill. All students are welcome. E-Track, JSP, and Japanese. もちろん、SLI は日本人の学生も歓迎です。英語で留学生と話せます。To apply, come to the English Plaza to scan the QR code. Or go to International Exchange Office. Hope to have you on our team. Good luck! <laughs> this week's phrase of the week is also a soccer theme. Got my eyes on the ball. <laughs> The phrase of the week this week is, keep your eye on the ball. We use this phrase when we want to tell someone to pay attention to something or to maintain their focus. Let's look at some examples. If you want to be a successful student, you need to keep your eye on the ball. Keep your deadlines, do your homework and listen in every class. It's important to keep your eye on the ball. The final exams are coming up soon. You can also use the negative form. Take your eye off the ball to refer to something that you don't pay attention to. He took his eye off the ball and the rival company stole their business. So the next time you're trying to tell someone to stay on target, be focused or pay attention, try using the phrase keep your eye on the ball. See you next time on Phrase of the Week. Thank you, James, for that phrase. Now, last week, before the World Cup started, we took to the lounge to ask people who they thought was going to win the World Cup. Let's go! I'm here with Shohei and Yutaro. Who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Spain. Spain? Japan. Japan! The samurai! <laughs> Alright. Who do you think? I think France or Belgium. Belgium. France or Belgium. Um, well, I, I'm, I, I love playing soccer, but I don't really watch a lot of soccer. But from what I've heard, France and Germany might have a huge possibility of winning this, this, this FIFA World Cup. Kylie, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Japan. Alright, go Japan! Who's oh, gonna win? Brazil. Brazil? Yes. No doubt about it. And no doubt about it. Great defense, good midfield. Good team. Good yeah. team chemistry. Yeah. Okay, Alice, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Portugal. Portugal is a good pick. Yay! Go Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna win the World Cup? Go Brazil! Germany. Come on. Then. I think I was overpowered with the voice part. <laughs> Germany! <laughs> Brazil! For sure. Germany. No, Brazil. Germany. Germany. Why is Germany? Germany? You don't won. even know Germany! Because they won last year. Come on now. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> you know how you have two Brazilians by yeah. your side. They already won like five cups. Let's go. You can do it. Okay. One, Brazil. two, three. Brazil! Brazil. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Taiki, Chiaki, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Of course, Japan! Japan. Ah, the samurai. Samurai. <laughs> samurai, Japan. <laughs> Good luck, Japan. Well, I think Germany. Germany, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Japan. Japan. Okay, very popular team today. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, shoot, I don't know. I mean, Germany's, Germany's strong. Pretty strong, but I'm kind of hoping for Argentina because uh, I do love Messi. 
I got my dark horse, France. That's oh, my choice. No We're kidding. See this. Oh this no no, it's gonna be Iceland. <laughs> Iceland's gotta win. They're the the Cinderella story. Perfect. England. Spain. Portugal. <laughs> Japan. France. Brazil. Germany. Brazil. England. Japan. For our last video today, we have a word from GTI France. Hi guys! Are you interested in making some new friends? Well, you're in luck. Next Tuesday, June 19th, from 2.45 to 3.30, we're having our next GTI Friends event right here in the Oregon Cafe. Last time it was a great success with about 60 people here, so please come play some games with us, join the fun, and meet some new people. It'll be really fun. Come join us. Bye! Bye. That's all we have for this week. Don't forget to enjoy some of the amazing soccer games this week, but don't forget to catch up on your sleep as well. Bye. See you guys.